Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, Charlie is My Darling. It is one of the grade four pieces which is featured in the Trinity uh, College London, the Gravy Studies, grades one to five. This is a traditional piece of music which has been arranged for two percussion solos, a full solo by Jan Faulkner. Okay, I've had a few people asking me about this piece. Um, a couple of things with regards to sticking. If we break down the piece into a few sections, the opening section where we've got the head, the original melody from the beginning really all the way through to um, bar 17, straightforward. If, as long as you figure out the melody and try and keep a hand to hand, keep it as even as possible. Any um, sticking starting with right or left, as long as we're alternating, should flow and should help. You're allowed a little bit of uh, freedom with this to decide whether to naturally you want to start with the left or right. You don't always have to start the same phrase or every phrase with the same stick, you might want to start the first phrase with the left and maybe start the next phrase with the right, depending if it starts with an crucis, entirely up to yourself. What I would like to talk about today is bar 20 onwards, so just this middle section. People sometimes get a little bit muddled up with sticking, but generally speaking, if you're starting on the beat, on the downbeat, on the pulse, start with the left and always um, start with the left and it should work out evenly. So the first one, bar 20, if we have one, two, I'm starting with the left and therefore finishing on the left. I'm going to stay in that position now, start with my right. Now that one there, we've just finished bar 22 into 23. I'm going to go left, right, left, right, left, right. And then on that A, the, um, the quaver from the end of bar 22 going into 23. Instead of doing a double, try and avoid that and alternate your beater. So I'm going to go left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So when I'm playing two A's, I'm alternating my beaters. And the reason for that is to allow my right hand to be able to get up to the top on the G. So if I play left, right, 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 left. Now the next one, again starting with my right beater and just always alternate rights and lefts. And the same thing applies for that second part of the phrase. So if I've just played 24 and 25, just always rights and lefts all the way through. Same thing with this, start with my left now. And throughout that section, just always alternate left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and then the same stick and working down. Then when we move to the second half of the piece, it's the, the head, the melody again. The that's the first half. Then the second half is just exactly the same music as we've just played previously. Now if I just put a little bit of that in isolation with the track now, so we can show the sticking. 